What were the nerfs? Let's look at them. They nerfed Edwin finally? No way. I gotta see this. All right, we've got a small balance patch with a few big changes planned for this release on Friday, January 8th. Standard balance updates. Edwin Van Cleef. Old cost three, new cost four. Wow, that's a big deal. Now you can't die on turn 30. It gives you one more draw to find the hard removal answer and it opens up more hard removal possibilities. Wow. And it forces them like, all right, so the thing about Edwin is it's more effective the more ahead on tempo you are, right? And to be ahead on tempo on turn three, it means you had to have kind of just played a two drop or daggered up really against a lot of decks. Whereas to be ahead on tempo on turn four and then play the Edwin, it requires you to have actually committed resources. Especially when you think about things like Coin Edwin, right? On turn two, Coin Edwin, you could have played no one drop and you're still on even or ahead of tempo of your opponent. So it's more difficult for them to deal with the Edwin. Whereas turn four, now all of a sudden your opponents had the time to play a two drop. Your opponents had the time to play a three drop. So your Edwin is going to be uh, actually contested by minions. So now minions plus removal can answer it instead. So that's a huge nerf to the um, actual fact that it was scamming games ridiculously so. Which, I don't know how they didn't make this change six years ago. This should have been done six years ago, but I'm glad they finally decided to, you know, pull their head out of their ass and do it. Dev comment, the last few weeks has uh, have been the best Edwin has ever performed as an individual card. The highest win rate card in multiple rogue archetypes. Wow, shocker. It's been that way forever, man. <laughs> they're, talking, they're acting like Edwin's just getting good now. Like Edwin hasn't been good since its inception. Yeah, recently the win rate's been kind of good now. We've noticed that Edwin wins. This took us seven years of data to figure that one out. Alongside kinds like Foxy Frond and Shadow Step, the frequency of an 8 or Tedwin Van Cleef reaches a point we are no longer comfortable with. Yeah, we liked it happening 90% of the time, but when they push it to 100% of the time, we were like, ah, that's too much. That's too much. We want to evaluate. The rest of Rogue's kits performs without the very powerful iteration of Edwin. Cards like Foxy Fraud Swindle and Prize Plunder are important pieces of future expansions and card interactions, so we'll keep a close tabs on how they perform with the influx of new cards and the Edwin nerf. Yeah, I don't believe all this data bullshit. They didn't want to nerf it because they didn't want to nerf it for some reason. Finally got around to it. This should have been nerfed so long ago. It's, it's when it's been absurd the whole time. It's not just recently a discovery that Edwin's been good. It's been in every world champion deck. <laughs> every world champion lineup. It, it's just been so successful all the time. It scams games out in the left field all the time. Even when Rogue wasn't performing well, Edwin was the reason why it had the chance and was scamming games. So finally Rogue is good and they're like, okay, Rogue's actually winning now. Because Rogue was like kind of out of the meta for a while, so that's why they didn't touch Edwin. It was still a problem as a card, but the class wasn't a problem, so they didn't care. Now the class is being problematic and having a successful win rate, so suddenly they care. Yeah. They only nerf things that are when the whole deck is good. They don't like nerfing things when just specific cards are a problem, which is something that I think Blizzard needs to look at more closely. Instead of nerfing things only when the entire class has a good win rate, you need to be able to accept that, hey, even though this class sucks, this card is degenerate and causing unfun interactions. But uh, Blizzard's balance team never does that. They always are like, only if the class overall is problematic do they like nerfing things. And that was the case in the story with Edwin for the longest time. The rogue class wasn't super degenerate, but Edwin itself was always super degenerate. But they just never got the band hammer because rogue was always like, not quite the most dominant deck. Not quite the most, the best class. So they just hid under the radar. But now rogue's considered a tier one deck and of course it gets band hammered now. Actually, you're right, Dark Jax. Except when they nerfed Hex. That was really out of left field. Shaman wasn't good. Hex wasn't good. Hex still isn't that good. I don't know what the Hex nerf is about. I think we call that an outlier. <laughs> Mana Worm? They nerfed Mana Worm when that deck was good. Temple Mage was good when they nerfed Mana Worm. Bong Spine Knuckles. Oh, they're getting rid of Evolve Shaman a little bit. A 3-2 on the Bong Spine Knuckles. Okay, that's good. It, uh, it's going to hurt the Dread Corsair interaction, as they talk about up here. And reduce the ability of the deck to just... Because the problem against Evolve Shaman, right? It wasn't that they made so many Evolvey boards, honestly. It Bug Spine Knuckles did actually clock you. So you'd have to spend your mana AoEing their board. And during that time, they would actually get enough chip damage in on your face to cheese out wins that way. So even if you removed all of Evolve Shaman's boards, the amount of damage that they would accumulate from the 
uh, bog spine knuckles and bringing them back was enough to make it so that you would just die without them needing bloodlust or anything. So it's actually going to be quite significant removing some damage from that deck, actually. I like this change. The integrity of the deck is going to stay the same. It wasn't that degenerate, but pretty degenerate. And then it makes the deck... It's a go-wide deck and evolve deck, and now it's more honest to that instead of being a go-wide evolve deck with also way too much damage. And it's going to be harder to get this out on curve while doing something effective. So yeah, this is going to significantly damage that attack, that deck. This is a really good, a good change. I think it's very elegant. Battlegrounds balance. Wow! Holy smokes! Minus three, minus three. It's still good. It's still good. That's the crazy part. That's the crazy part. But it's not... It's a tech card now. It used to be auto-include, and it would just smash. And now it's a tech card more, right? Yeah. It probably should be a 5-5. Five five. By the time you play this, you, there's a couple of minions that your opponents are probably going to be at 5 health. So this is going to be too small of a stat line to kill anything. At this, the, so yeah, you're not going to want to get this off your first 6 discover. You take it off like your 4th 6 discover. <laughs> it's a big nerf, though. It's still good for teching, but you don't take it off your first six discover ever, right? Your first six discover, you're going to need something stronger than standalones. Well, how much damage is this? It's still 16 damage. It's still probably better than, like, my X off your first six discover. Yeah, I think it's a good change. It was way too good. It was obviously way too good. And then bug fixes. No comments. We could join the conversation. Don't want to join the conversation. Edwin trained. Wow. Yes. Whoever's Lich King is going to lose this no matter what. Hydra, here we come, baby! It's Hydra time! Doesn't feel like bad, fair bets if you're gonna throw. I'm not throwing. I don't think I have intentionally tried to do anything 